All right, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to show how to animate a sliding box in the X axis. Well, we'll start with, as usual, clearing the screen, clear all variables, clear the figures, and close all figures if there's any open. And uh, we'll start by plotting the four lines of the box. So let's just imagine a box that's uh, center is at the origin and the length of each side is, uh, let's say quarter of a meter, 0.25. So now we need to use the plot function. The plot function will accept two vectors, a uh, vector for the points that contains the x coordinates of all the points and the y coordinates of all the points. So the x coordinates are going to be 0, 0, or sorry, it's going to be uh, <coughs> negative s. and positive s while the y coordinates are going to be make it 0.5 s so it's around the origin 0.5 s and the y coordinate is simply negative 0.5 times s and negative 0.5 times s so let's plot this and see what it looks like. X comma Y. We'll run that, add to the path, and see what that looks like. Or just a line. So now we draw the next line with the next points will be 0.5 times s. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna stay 0.5 times s. But the next, for the x coordinate, the y coordinate now is gonna go up 0.5 times s. Uh, let's take a look. So there's the second side of the square. Okay, so here's our figure using the plot function. We note that we inputted three points and uh, they are here so three points will get you two lines so now we need to input this point and this point again so this point is just going to be negative 0.5 s in the for it'll be positive 0.5 s for y and a negative 0.5 s for x like i said okay And we'll just do the last point too. Okay, and run that. And there's our square. And now if we put this in a for loop and animate it and collect every frame each through each i iteration we can watch it uh, slide. So let's also dictate now what we want the x min and x max to be. So let's let the x min be, um, we're going to slide across the x axis. So negative 0.5 and x max let's say five or let's make it 12 and y min be from negative one y max to positive one 
and then we'll call the access function here set the x and min, min, min and maximum axis x min x max y min y max and we have to input it as a vector so if we run that okay let me say x is equal to make them equal with this okay why don't we make s a little bit bigger too the side of the square make it two and then run it and y min make it negative three and x min negative three okay now we're going to animate this block to make it move simply in the x direction so what we need to do is put this in a for loop but first we need to get a use the lin space function lin space of x from 0 to 10 and with number of increments I don't know we can choose 20 and now we need a for loop for i equals 1 to the length of x we are gonna run this run all of this so we'll cut and paste it into our for loop here like this now of course if I run that it's just going to be a box and not moving uh, let's use the get frame function here f equals get frame and then we'll call the movie function at the end and put into it f and let's clean this up so it's going to move horizontally so my y points of the square are the same but my x points are going to change so i need to use each element of the x vector x is a is a row vector so it's going to be row one or row i sorry and column one so it's always column one so we don't need to put that so x of i x of i plus this x of i again plus this x of i minus this and x of i minus this and let's run that see what that looks like okay there's our sliding square all right thanks i hope you enjoyed that and uh, maybe I'll do another video on how that square will go up a ramp. Uh, and if you enjoyed the video, uh, hit, hit that like and subscribe. All right, thanks.